Hi everybody, True Mavis here. Welcome to the, what's going to be the final episode, regardless of um, Dolphin Spirit Ocean Mission. We completed the game last time, but we still have this one annoying achievement left. We've got to get 48 pages of knowledge, and we're still two entries missing, which is a pain in the arse. What's too far out, you? So we're having to figure out what's missing. Now I am missing two tab some tablet pieces. Apparently. Where is this tree? Uh, that just comes up with that. There's one thing I do want to take a picture of. There was a fallen bit of stone here, wasn't there? Was it here? It was somewhere around here. Where is it? Can I imagine it? broken bit of stone. Couple of broken broken pillars or something. Imagining things. Maybe it was somewhere else.
all that's on YouTube is just full walkthroughs and you can tell they're not full walkthroughs because they're, they're too quick. information about the game at all on anything. It's crazy. Oh god, I found a piece. Wow. I just found two pieces. Oh, we're on a rail. Okay, I reckon the third piece is in this area then. Jesus, that was well hidden. I'm literally just going to hug. These rocks. That's insane. That is literally insane. There, one was there, and a bush. Well, confirmed they're still in the world then. They didn't disappear when we complete the act, so we can still find them. Just gotta bleed and find them. found two in a row like that though.
Mm -hmm. I don't know how like, the camera's going in like that, does it? I remember where I found it now. <gasps> Is that not duo? It completed the mission, but it didn't give me a knowledge page. Fuck! Okay. I reckon we're probably done with that area, you know. Have I found... Have I... F uh, God, this screen is so horrible to navigate. When is... Tablet which displays the incorrect harmony with nature. God, they could literally be anywhere, man. I don't trust myself now because they are they're so well hidden. looking for oh, that, that rock's got no clipping no collision sorry
Uh, I wonder if getting all the tablets then gives you a knowledge page. There's, there's still, I think, one more thing. We've got to take a photograph on this bleeding island now. I think we can rule out the jungle because we literally just found them three pieces in the jungle so i don't i we can we can literally rule that area out as as done and dusted i think i just wish i could recall where we found the other pieces of other stuff you know the other tablets i know we got some in the mountains so i think we can probably rule the mountains out so it really at least the like plantation really and the other beach area doesn't it Which is probably the favourite spot. And that's where we're going to go now. Just open this drink. This episode is going to go as long as it goes. So if people don't want to watch this, I'm going to put this in the title actually. And it's just mindless searching for shit. I can't believe though that they were. I mean, if it wasn't for the hand pump appearing, I would not have seen that at all. I'm just going to go straight to the plantation area. Well, not straight there, actually. This is, um... See, that dog's supposed to help you find those. Did, did the dog help me find those? Did it, Chuff? If it's ecology, this might be something to do with this plantation. Alright, just Astrid. Okay, let's check. It could be the... Oh, it could... I know what it could be. 
Could be those uh, chemical spills in the in the beach. I don't recall us taking a photo of oh, maybe wrong. Okay, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident I took a picture of this, but you know we'll we'll, we'll do it again. Yeah, it's a place for shot. Okay, it's in this area then. Problem is it's on the fringe of the freaking plantation area and this this bit, so Where is it? Is it is it in this bit or is it the other bit? It's on literally on the fringe. It's a bit frustrating. Exactly got it from now. It was around right here, wasn't it? they put it right on the border they were all generally close to one another though weren't they
way off now. Still, I want to go here for another reason. Beach. This is so far away from where we found that first one. I have little confidence that it's in this area, but... Who knows? This was the other area I wanted to search, so...
Nope. Oh. Okay. Hobbits of the Ancients, there we go. Oh yeah, thanks for Pooley or whatever he's called, useless twarver dog. Go back and see Grandpa. Oh, hopefully this gives us the last bit of knowledge for the... Um, uh, legend. Because that will that'll give me 48 and that'll be it done. Uh, actually, what did that fill in? Okay, so it's just an ecology one I've got to fill in. The first one tells the story of the ancients. The meeting between humans and spirits of the island. The writing on the third one says that humans must not neglect nature. The last one alludes to a prophecy. It's so interesting. Hobbits are priceless. Thank you for helping me with my research. That's the thing. Can we go out to places? of the notebook. That's 
several were fishing, protecting the oceans, blah blah blah, and plastic ocean storms, drift lands. I honestly don't know guys it is a mystery what this um this actually is i'm gonna see if i can reach out to the game devs magic pockets Hopefully they're still in business. Magic Pocket Games. It's bringing up the old Magic Pocket game for the um, for the Amiga. <laughs> Game developer. I think I found them. Why did they make that as well? They're French. Not a very good website. No, it seems to work. Yeah, I don't think the website likes um, being used on a uh, tablet. Um, it's gonna also back to the main menu just for a second. Website is rubbish. 
I wasn't paying attention. I didn't. I didn't. I just wanted to see that logo. I just want to establish if it's the correct company. Yeah, microids. I don't want to contact them. It is the same company. Okay, contact us. You don't have an email? You don't have an email address or a contact form on your website. Are you serious, dudes? Oh, you do. Tell a lie. Business inquiry, public relations, or recruitment? Uh, neither. None of the above. And you can't pretext. Yeah, their, their website just doesn't work. They've got like a section for clicking games. And... Oh, it does work. It just doesn't show the game. Hmm. Got Twitter. Twitter.com refused to connect. They've probably not read on the. UPI have they since um, Elon did a fucking job on Twitter I fucking found it. I 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 found it. Blue economy. Get in. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. There you go. Did it. Holy shit balls. That was luck. That, I could have I could have been searching for another hour. I could have been searching for another hour. It was the blue that bloody bucket. Blue economy. We're gonna read that one. We're gonna read that one in full. Crucial to develop sustainable economic activities that respect the coral reefs and the balance of the ecosystems. Tourism, agriculture, fishing industries, all of this type can be carried out sensibly. The duty of every single one of us to protect the, our oceans by consuming in moderation and paying attention to everything is outsourced. 
What was what was how, what, what reference was that to a bleeding barrel? A bin, basically. <sighs> Thank God. Anyway, if you watch this episode, I do appreciate it because this episode wasn't a fun one. Uh, believe me, mopping up like this when you're missing an item and you don't know where it is is uh, a very annoying process to go through. But there we are. There we have it. 1,000 gamer score on uh, this excellent game. The only downside to it, Microids did the Microids special and overpriced it as usual. Microids um, are a greedy set of... You know what? Um... I think they've done dirty to a lot of devs um, with overpricing their games and the games just don't do as well as they should do. This one deserves to be played. This one at $14.99 would do magnificent. Uh, $24.99, people are not going to be very um, receptive to it because of the price point. It's literally, you know, you, you can... What? What? You can you can literally never get get a full price title for twenty five quid. You know what I mean? When it's when well, well, some of them are on sale and stuff. It's it's just um it's just pure madness. And um you know and if people say ah oh, you're talking out your ass, no I'm not. True achievements. It's got a million registered users. Near enough. Small sample. I know. In the grand scheme of things, but millions enough. Do you know how many people have earned one single achievement in the game? Forty-two. I don't think that even equates to zero point zero one percent of a million. So if you extrapolate that up on Xbox, if Xbox has supposedly got about 50 million users, so times 42 by 50, it's all... About 2,000 copies. Is that good? No, it's shit. 2,000 copies. You just extrapolate that up. And that's all because it's priced at $24.99. There's nothing wrong with the game. The game's excellent. The devs, brilliant work. The publisher, lower your damn prices, guys. Lower your prices. Yeah, overpricing everything. Seriously overpricing everything. You've done it with Smurfs. You did it with your Agatha Christie stuff. You've done it with Survivor stuff, which I think is the same dev actually. You did it with Sisters. You did it with Warm Snow. You did it. You did it with uh, Robot Grenadizer. Did it with Flashback Two. I could. I can keep going. I can keep going. Operation Wolf. Overpriced tat. Inspector Gadget. Ridiculously overpriced. The game takes an hour to complete. It's thirty four ninety nine. You know what I mean? It's. It's madness. It's pure madness. You're literally killing your games by charging too much for them. Give you another example. Smurf Cat, another one of their games, Microids. $24.99 on that. 239 people played it. Out of the million. 239 people. 239 people. Operation Wolf, $24.99. 87 people played it. You know what I mean? And then what, what happens is, what, what happens then is, a bit of a rant here, what happens there is, the publishers, because they're so fucking dim weird, right, go, oh, it's not selling well on Xbox, so we'll stop making games for Xbox. Yeah, but it's not selling well because you're overcharging. You're overcharging. It's ridiculous, man. It's seriously ridiculous. There you go, Gar Garfield the Sanya Party. $34.99, it's a party game that takes like about an hour complete. It's just madness. Stop it. Sensible price on your product, you'll sell more. You'll sell a lot more. 
sure you make more per copy on this one, but you're going to sell significantly less copies. And, the, and, and you, are you telling me this game deserves to sell 42 copies per million Xbox users? You're telling me the quality of this, it deserves that? It shouldn't be, should it? It be, should be selling 4,000 per million. It should be selling 20,000 per million. You know what I mean? It's it's a good game. It, it Look at it. Graphics, great. Sound, great. Gameplay, great. It's chill. It's overpriced, though. Anyway, rant over. Playthrough complete. 1,000 games going in the bag. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.